Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Recently, my husband has taken up planting herb from seed in our house. So we have accumulated quite a few different sizes and styles of pots and I wanted to take advantage of this for my dotting projects. In front of me, I've got a set of five two inch mini terracotta pots. Now, again, this was a set of six, but as you can see up here, one of the pots has some seed starters. These are some very small and delicate aloe vera seedlings. So I'm gonna leave those as is. And again, these five here are what I'm gonna be dotting with. Now the pots likely are never gonna be used again for any live plants. And because of this, I did not do any special preparations. I have only given them three separate layers of this gray paint, and it is just a water-based acrylic, the same that I use to do any of my designs with. Now it did take me about three and a half weeks to do these three layers, partially just because I did a layer and let them sit out on a piece of wax paper for about a week while they dried sufficiently and then came back and did the other two. Also, I had thought I wanted a smooth, flat surface. However, as I started adding these layers, I realized that wasn't going to happen because I did just have a regular household brush that I was using and the typical acrylic paints and not a spray paint. But I started to fall in love with what I was working with here. The brush strokes and the terracotta color that's peeking through. I don't know if everyone's going to agree. I'd like your opinion on it. Feel free to leave that in the comment. But for now, this is what I would with. As I mentioned, I suspect these are never going to be used for live plants again, so just decoration. So I did not spray the inside of these with any type of sealer, and I'm not going to be spraying these with any varnish either once I'm completely finished. Being decorative, likely they're only going to be viewed from one side, so I've decided a mandala pattern will only be put on one side of these. I am also tending to use stencils when I create my grid lines and do my projects, but I've yet, as a beginner, decided to invest in the round stencils for the mandala stones. Thus, the stencils that I do have, these flat ones, aren't molding very well around the pots and didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to. So all I've done thus far is taken my watercolor pencil and added one straight line down these pots that I'm going to use as a center line to start. I don't think it's going to cause a problem even as a beginner, but we'll see. Now I decided I wanted to go with them light colors and behind me I've got a purple, blue, and pink from Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel is fantastic as a starter brand. They're found practically everywhere and are so cheap, about 50 cents a bottle. So no need to worry about that. They're definitely my staple for now. Love to see what you think about the project. Hope for your comments and feedback. And if you have a suggestion or two, drop it down. I'd love to hear it. As a beginner, I look forward to seeing everything you've got to say. All right. So if you decide that you want to see more, please take a quick moment, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you again soon. Now to get started on these. Let's go.
this turned out. It was really a fun project and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and I will catch you on the next project. Thanks so much.